do your kind of like Series A, probably like 70% of your, you know, yeah. stuff is like CapEx, OpEx budget, right? Now it's, you slip that down and you're like, but I really need this developers and probably a UED guy, right? Because even in the enterprise software, yeah, yeah. people are, exper you know, really demanding great experience. You can go to the market very fast, yeah. take something to the market, mm -hmm. so you can actually use that feature to test the market. And I think also the, the, the mentality has changed now, right, which is which is actually a good thing, right, which yeah. is this kind of like lean startup methodology, right, which is what's the minimal viable product? What can you do to test a thesis, a hypothesis? Instead of doing like a two year build out in stealth, you can come out with a simple feature, launch it, put it up as a SaaS app, and see if it works. And if it doesn't iterate and move on, right? It's very, very agile. Build it fast and see if they come. Yes, exactly. Test right. the market and, and pretty good. If, if it doesn't work, you know, pivot and, and you know, yeah, kind shut of like down your Amazon instance. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> you know, and hopefully don't lose your data, but you know. <laughs> okay, Todd P. Great to have you on the Cube. Great Cube content. Um, Thank fantastic. you very much for Good having luck me. with your venture. Keep in touch. Absolutely. Uh, Palo Alto do. days in Massachusetts, so you know, let's do lunch. Let's do the Cube and. Uh, we're looking for cube space. I don't know if you heard, but we're um, the cube is out. looking for cube space. The, the Cadera office is now so over capacity that uh, Silicon Angle has to kind of pop out. You get it's out kind of then. LIFO Q, you know. You know? That's good. <laughs> it doesn't that mean you're Our moving up? Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, last in, first out. I guess you know. <laughs> we we're popping down the stack, and we're like, okay, no more room for you guys. So, space uh, for that 300-pound storage box. I got a yeah. you know <laughs> crane and you know jib and I got studio <laughs> and. So anyone out there who's in Palo Alto who needs to uh, get some collaboration going, call, call us the Cube. We're looking for a studio home. But we don't want to pay for real estate. Palo Alto real estate's out of control. Um, great, so tell Mike, uh, we said hello to Mike Dalberg, uh, partner Realtor. over there. Great Realtor. guy, Realtor. Battery Realtor. Ventures, great firm. Uh, one, of the, one of the good firms out there for uh, venture. Good, good deal you have over there. Thank you very much, and thank okay. you very much for having me. Okay. Okay. It's a pleasure. Okay. All right, we... Uh, we got the scoop on uh, Hortonworks. We're gonna have. Uh, are we gonna have uh, Alex on? Oh, let's keep him on. We don't. He's not here. Oh, okay. Well, okay. We're waiting for uh, Jonathan Gray from Facebook to come by, talking. You hang out for a little longer. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Great. Yeah. Why not? They okay, were back with Todd P. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on. No, that was back. a nice, nice break. We're waiting for uh, Jonathan Gray from Facebook, who's here giving us a seminal talk about uh, his experience with HBase. Um, on that note, HBase obviously getting a lot of great momentum right now. A lot of use cases on it. We have our showed you our little product at uh, VMworld that we built, Vertical Engine. Uh, mm -hmm. We got that together. And again, we had a use case, uh, put it together. It's so easy. Hadoop's doing things now we couldn't do years ago. I mean, if I wanted to do what I'm doing with the Twitter data for SiliconANGLE, it would have cost me more equipment. The database pain and development would have been massive. Mm -hmm. Just doing the tables and mm -hmm. brutal. Yeah. So what is that doing to the marketplace? I mean, like, what is, can you well, describe? I think it's, an it's, an interesting, it's an interesting observation, right? Which I think in, in, in the last 12 months, the most action we've seen in the Hadoop community has been people starting to adopt HBase. It's certainly been the kind of like poster child and hottest kind of like project. So you've got to take a step back and think, well, why is that? Well, without HBase and without some of the other products out there, Hadoop is basically distributed file processing. Right? And it's, just, you know, it's great if you want to build a search index or a web index, right? if you're a company like Yahoo or Google. But it's not actually that useful for you know, people who actually have like data in more kind of like discrete events. And so they're like, look, we need some sort of structure. We, we're used to this structured world where we had like rows and columns. So give me something like that that works. And so HBase has been filling that niche, right? And I actually think that, you know, as part of the overall kind of like, you know, stack being assembled, HBase is a critical, critical part there. And actually, Jonathan was talking this morning about how Facebook are using it in his uh, in his talk this morning. And Were you, did you catch that talk? I did. I was there. Can was you summarize there. what happened? We missed it. I, absolutely. So he basically said. We're using HBase at Facebook for doing a lot of real-time applications, right? So they built Facebook messages on top of it, and he talked about some of the internal things they have called Puma and stuff like that, which is really looking at HBase as a system to replace stuff like MySQL. Right? And I'm sure he can give you more detail than that when he's here, but, but to me, it's, that's a highly interesting part of the market, right? Which is to say, look, traditionally we thought of Hadoop as this kind of like batch offline, right? And you took these files, they're log files, and you slammed them into this platform, and you processed them, and you found some data out of it. But as we were talking about before, you know, the trend towards more real-time applications requires a different set of you know, pieces in the overall stack, right? So HBase is actually starting to fill that out, and I think that's a very interesting trend that we see in the market, which is companies are saying, look, time to insight, time to you know, value that I want to get from this data 
is you know critical to me, right? And so I need a different platform. And so I think where a lot of development is going to happen in the in the ecosystem is going to be towards those sorts of applications. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's a wrap. We got just got my note from Mark Risen Hopkins. Our next guest is ready. Thanks for uh, filling in. Appreciate it again. Mark, pleasure anytime. We'll Todd P. Dr. Lucky Spin on Twitter. Check him out. Uh, follow him on Twitter.